my IBB. First of all, the packaging, adorable. We're gonna try them out and see, are these actually worth it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alina and I do special effects makeup transformations as well as product reviews, including contact lenses. Because I do those videos, I actually get offers at least once a month for the past few years from random companies to review their contacts. Let me tell you, this is why you have to be careful who you shop from because there are sketchy places <laughs> to buy contacts from popping up all of the time. So absolutely do your research. Having said that, I got reached out to buy my IBB. On my day off, I finally researched the company and I actually was liking what I was seeing. They wanted me to review a few of their contact lenses and no, I am not being paid for this at all. So this is my absolutely honest opinion and I have never used them before. So we're going to see how the quality is together because the reviews are great, but it's all about the product. First of all, the packaging, adorable. The inside of the packaging is adorable as well. They sent me four different contact lenses and it's great. It comes with a little information booklet. And this is what I asked them to send me was their actual cosplay contacts. I love the packaging on these because you can actually see the lens. So we've got a blue set, we've got a purple, we've got a pink with a nice limbo ring. And I'm so excited about these. Look at these stitches. Look at that. You guys have seen, I have a massive contact lens collection. So I always have these on hand. I absolutely love these cases for cleaning and for storing. It keeps them nice and organized. There's a heart on one side and then there's an R on the other and they're easily distinguishable because they're in two separate halves. And you just never know when you're gonna need them. But I was kind of surprised because when these arrived to me, they had cases for each one and they also had, they have your little tweezers with kind of your little, uh, it's almost like a suction cup. Let's see if that's showing up. Now I am not an expert at putting these in by any means, but I have learned a couple tips. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. First of all, always, always, always rinse your lenses. Even if there's not instructions that say that you should, you should. Luckily for these, they have your wonderful instructions right there that spell out every single step. Mine you can see are non, prescription. Uh, I don't have anything wrong with my eyesight, but the website does offer scripts and non-scripts as well, which we love that because not every cosplayer is going to have great eyesight. I will go ahead and get these set up in their containers and then we're going to try them out and see, are these actually worth it? Now, if you haven't seen any of my other previous contact lens reviews, there is an important thing about contact lenses. These, you happen to be able to see the actual texture on them. So you already know, because the other side is smooth, that it pattern wise, this is inside out. If you don't know if a contact is inside out or not, like if it's the same on both sides, if you look at it, you'll see that the edges kind of curve out like that. They should curve in like a perfect half circle bowl. That's a good tip because you don't want to put your lens on inside out. Because if you look at it now, you'll see that it has like a nice smooth curve up. You want that curve, otherwise you're gonna stick it in your eye. It's gonna feel super, super uncomfortable and it's a good indication that your lens might be inside out. There might be something under it, whether you can see it or not. So if you put in your lens and there's discomfort, don't leave it in there, take it right back out. It's not worth damaging your eyesight. And as always, when you're gonna be putting contacts in or out of your eyes, make sure you wash your hands. These are your eyes that we're talking about. You want them to be clean. You wanna be working safe. Also, when you store your contacts, what's great about the cases that they provide is it will have an R on the bottom of one and nothing on the other. So you know that this is the right side lens. First, we're gonna start off with Minecraft Pink. So these are my eyes before. I'm gonna put in just one to show you how it looks. So here's the tip I have about putting in your contacts. So when you have it up, it's kind of hard to make it stick to your eye sometimes. My absolute favorite solution, I'm gonna link below as well, is the Pure Lens. This is really good and recommended for your Scolara lens wearers as well. Put a drop, just drop one drop inside. So I'm going to pull down my eyelid. I'm gonna look up. I kind of slide it in. It already sticks to my eye because of moisture. And then I'm gonna blink and kind of squeeze my eye to get that extra moisture out. And there it is. Here is Minecraft Pink. Same thing, one dot of fluid. 
So now we have it here in both eyes. These are very comfortable. They have what I consider more of a standard size pupil hole. So I'm able to see through these really well. They're not impeding my vision in any way. This is what it looks like up close. You can see that they cover shockingly well. Great for cosplay. They're very, like even from a distance back here, they're very strikingly pink. You do see they have a bit of a black limbal ring around them, a solid line, kind of a neat little accent on them. So, so far, these are great. I'm gonna try to show you how I take them out, especially when I have nails on right now, because um, it's very hard for me to grab. Normally I would pull down, I would slide the lens down and I would pinch it with my fingertips. I'm not great with nails. So instead I'm gonna use little tweezers that they sent. Do it on this side so you can see. I'm gonna take this, slide the lens down, and then just kind of try to pinch the base of it. You're not pinching ridiculously hard. All you gotta do is grab it. And there you go. You can even see from a distance, like look how like stunning and high coverage that is. That's crazy. And again, pinch the lens, good to go. This next one's gonna be Miracle Times 2 Purple. Same thing, I'm gonna place it on my ring finger, add a drop of fluid in it. Okay, we got it. This one's very similar to the last set. It has a very dark limbo ring, but you can see there's an actual pattern to it. You can see from back here, it is very striking on color. Here it is up close. And these are high coverage. Again, it has a standard size pupil hole. So I kind of like that because you can see well, like if you're at a convention or something, but like look how striking they are even. From way back here, you can see like that purple really covers and they do have a little bit of a sketchiness coming off a limbo ring, which I think adds kind of a dimension to it, which is pretty cool. Like these are really purple. Like these are gonna really catch your attention if you're like walking around a convention and stuff. So again, these are very comfortable. Yeah, I think this is another win. Okay, this next set is called Ragdoll Cat Blue. This one is great. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Do you see that coverage? Let's get up close. It has a narrow pupil. Let's see if we can get close. You can see it's actually very patterned in the center. It has kind of a actual pattern texture and it fades into kind of a creamy white. And then it has like a gray, like a light gray limbal around it. But that white is so stunning that you almost don't even notice a limbal ring. Like that's crazy. Like let's get the second one in. These are very thin. So these are very comfortable. Honestly, out of the three, this is the most comfortable lens that I've put in so far. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. These are crazy. Let's get really close. You can see it's a very solid limbo ring around them, but it's a very, very light gray. They do have a pattern and texture in the blue. That's just crazy. These are so stunning. It's like a very dark blue that fades into a very light blue that fades into like a cream color. But like these are just, ah, as I'm looking around, like your eyes do kind of adjust, but you do see a little bit of a blue hazing. I can still see really, really well and I can see the colors of everything. But that blue is very narrow. So you do see it a little bit, but my visibility is not at all actually impaired. But there is a little bit of a haziness. I still have my peripheral vision, like I can still see my hand, but it's definitely cloudier. The blue caught my eye, but I didn't know they were gonna catch my eyes this much, oh my gosh. Again, back here, Dune vibes for sure. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even wanna take them out, okay. Okay, so we've done three of the four colors so far back to back and you can see my eyes are not, like I can feel that I've been taking lenses in and out of, but you can see they're not turning red. These lenses are very comfortable. So they're not irritating my eyes, which I have very sensitive eyes. So I'm really excited for these. These are Stitched Mummy. And I have a new tutorial coming for a revised Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. These are gonna be perfection for that look. Oh my gosh. Stunning from a distance. But look at this up close, guys. These and the ragdoll cat lenses are nice. And like I said, they're thin. You can tell how thin they are too because when I have the drop of fluid in there, do you see how they're flattening? They have less of a structure to them because they're so thin. So you are gonna have a bit more of a struggle getting it in your eye. But when you do, they're the most comfortable lenses, guys. Oh, I'm gonna look at it from back here. You guys, these are trippy because you can see there's a line through them. Here they are, super up close. You guys, these are so crazy comfortable. 
And again, these are almost like a, they're slightly smaller than a standard pupil. So I can kind of see the edge of the white portion of the lens, but because it does not impede my vision in any other way, I know after wearing them for just a little bit that my eyes would adjust. So these are great if you want something super striking that's not gonna get in the way of your vision at all. The ragdolls are super fun. They are gonna impede your vision on your peripherals just a touch. You do see that little bit of a haze. So it kind of is just like what you're looking for as far as a look. There's a little bit of a like a wavy line around the lens in the form of a limbo ring that's got a little like sketchiness to it. So it kind of matches the lines of the stitching. Like these are just designed so well because again, from a distance, these are actually kind of scary, <laughs> which I love. I mean, that's usually the vibe I'm going for here on the channel. Okay, I'm gonna pop these out and then we're gonna give a final thought. So final thoughts on this brand. My IBB, I would say get your lenses. They have such a massive selection to choose from. And like I said, they have non-script and script lenses, which not every contact lens company has, especially when it's in the costume section. I guess they just assume everybody has fantastic eyesight. Or I guess they just assume that they wanna put glasses over their contacts, which if you paid money to change the color of your eyes, why would you wanna wear glasses? Unless of course, fall in line with your character. That's different, you should have the choice. And with my IBB, you do. I love their packaging. It was super fast delivery and even better guys. My IBB gave me a code that now that I've tried them on, I am comfortable giving you guys. I will have all the information below in the description, but go to their website, type in Alina20 for 20% off your purchase. Or alternatively, you can type in Alina and you can use their buy two, get three free. So you have to have five lenses in your cart you're only gonna pay for the price of two lenses and you're gonna get five. Really can't beat that. So you guys go check them out. I can't wait for you guys to see this coming week. All the tutorials that are lined up right now, I've been filming like crazy and I've been stuck in an editing bubble. And I'm so excited just to bring you guys what I love and to be back here on the channel and to actually have a schedule that I can finally commit to. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please go check out my iBB, their link below. The Alina 20 for 20% off, or the code Alina for buy two, get three free are both linked below, as well as where you can get your contact lenses and my personal favorite sterile solution. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys again next week with a brand new transformation.